All right, entering into the build right here, you'll see our Peer Loop 2FX cooler fully installed. Everything looks great. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the Be Quiet Peer Loop 2 FX 240 millimeter CPU liquid cooler. I did receive the sample directly from Be Quiet, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. They walk you through some key tech specs and information on the back side of the box you can see it illuminated that rgb looks really nice now let's go ahead let's open it up and see what's inside here are all the contents first up we have our product literature consisting of our user guide and manual walking us through everything we need to know a nice breakout of each individual part and component then they walk you through both amd and intel installation pictures charts diagrams everything you need to get up and running Next, you'll see we have our two identical light wings fans here. So take a look. That's gonna illuminate for us. We've got the Be Quiet logo and branding, airflow direction right there, Be Quiet branding on the side. There's our four pin and our ARGB connection. Again, both those fans identical to each other. Then you see we have a bunch of different hardware here, some bags of screws. We have our brackets for Intel and AMD and our included thermal paste. Also have some zip ties for cable management, but everything you need to get up and running. They also give us some extra coolant so you can refill and top this off as needed throughout the years. Here's a quick peek at the included ARGB PWM hub right here. So multiple options for the RGB and fans to connect. And we have a 3M adhesive back we can use to attach this to our case. You'll see our different hookup options right there. And then lastly, we have the cooler itself. Up close, you'll find the Be Quiet logo and branding front and center with the perimeter that will glow and illuminate with the RGB. Take a look at the rest of the design. You'll see on the radiator itself right here, we got the Peer Loop 2FX on both sides of it. And on this side, we have easy access to refill the coolant. Just go ahead, grab a Phillips head screwdriver. You can remove that and refill as needed. So simple design. Here's a look at the bottom too. Make sure you peel that off before you so it makes proper contact with your CPU. RGB hookup, and then we got the pump hook up right there with our standard four pin connector. Now let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, our PC's been built, our cooler is installed. Let's look at it up close. All right, entering into the build right here, you'll see our Peer Loop 2FX cooler fully installed. Everything looks great. Awesome fans up at the top with the beautiful RGB, nice accent on the cooler as well too, surrounding the Be Quiet logo. Does a great job diffusing the light for the RGB. Underneath, we have an AMD 7700X CPU. Take a look at the bracket, how we mount it. Six screws, that's it. You're all set and ready to go. Plenty of room in this case for the cooler. You can see how we have some of our cables connected for both the RGB and the fan power tucked up and out of the way. And we got the Pure Loop 2FX branding up at the top. Everything looks really nice. And now we got the light off look here too, to really appreciate that RGB on it. Kind of mesmerizing to watch the fan spin and to have the RGB going at the same time. Very bright, vivid, nice colors. Really a good looking cooler. Now we have the panels on our case so we can see what our CPU temps are at idle. So currently our CPU is at 1% utilization here. Your results will vary depending on what case you have, how you have it configured with your fan options, what CPU you're using, what GPU you're using. There's a lot of different variables. So mileage will vary, but in our case, we're using the AMD 7700X currently at idle with all the panels on. We also have an RTX 3080 FE GPU in this case. We'll be sure to stress that out too with the CPU just to create as much heat as possible. But right now you're seeing that our temp is right around 36 degrees Celsius 
at idle for our CPU, and we're showing about 29 degrees Celsius at idle for our GPU. So with everything being stressed out, our CPU is currently at 90 degrees Celsius and that temperature is rising. Eventually after 10 or 15 minutes, it will hit that 95 degree threshold that AMD has engineered for the CPU and it won't go any further. Spoiler alert, I've conducted this test already. It took about 15 minutes to get there and we still get the same 4.7-ish, 4.8 gigahertz at that 95 degrees Celsius, which we see when we do this test with other coolers. What I've noticed though, it's taken longer for this cooler to get up to that threshold, which I think is a benefit showing the effectiveness of this particular cooler. But 145 watts, 146 watts, that's what we're using right now in regards to our power and we'll get up to that 95 degree threshold, but we'll still get around that 4.7, 4.8 gigahertz speeds, which is great because our base speed is only 4.5. So even when we're throttling this thing, maxing it out, we're still above our base speeds. If you're wondering about that GPU, you're seeing our temp at 71 degrees Celsius. It really peaks at 71, 70 Two, and that again is at a full utilization as well, showing about 314, 313 watts of power being consumed for our GPU. So the cooler performs well within range. I would argue it does even better than a lot of other air coolers or AIOs maxing out this exact same CPU because they usually hit that threshold like two or three minutes in. And in this case, it's gonna take us close to 15. All right, with our system being fully stressed still, I thought we'd go ahead and crack out the thermal cam here. You're seeing that we're getting right around 91, 92 degrees Fahrenheit, right above the CPU on the Be Quiet logo. Thermals look really good on everything else for the cooler right here as we try to move around and follow it to the radiator. You'll see some more heat being generated here, but still below the 91, 92 we are getting on the CPU itself. Look at the fans here. On the bearings, it's going to be the warmest spot even then. Just mid 80s. So not a lot of heat building up anywhere on the AIO besides right here. And even then you'll see it's nice and blue still compared to the motherboard and obviously our GPU, things like that. I mean, look at how hot the GPU is compared to our CPU. Such so as speaks volumes to this cooler and its potential here and how it's keeping our brain of the build nice and cool. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using and installing the Be Quiet Peer Loop 2 FX. Everything is working great with this cooler and our build. It pairs very nicely with the AMD 7700X. This CPU cooler is very quiet, very powerful, and does a great job. You're not going to hear water trickling or anything along those lines. Since we're using Be Quiet fans with it, we just have a really nice, I would say, near silent AIO system. You will hear those fans rev up if you are going to stress it to 100% but even then it's going to be very, very minimal. This is also great because they give you everything you need, whether you're doing Team AMD or Team Intel, all the brackets, screws, parts, components, everything's included right in the box. Nothing else you're going to need. Also, it's a nice touch for them to include that hub so we can add our fans and control all of our RGB right from within that hub and then connect it to our motherboard. So really pleased with everything right out of the box with this cooler. Did a great job in our performance testing here. No issues at all. In fact, I'd say it overachieved since it takes so long to get our AMD CPU up to that 95 degree Celsius threshold. So no glaring imperfections, no issues like that. It really just comes down to what's going to look best in your build, what's going to pair nicely with your CPU. Do you like like the aesthetics of this, that sort of thing. And really for those questions, only you can answer that.